हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज योर चैप्टर फोर विच इज लेट्स एक्सप्लोर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट वर्ड टू थाउजेंड सेवन ओके सो दिस इज द कंटिन्यूड क्लास ऑफ योर मॉर्निंग क्लास ओके दैट वॉज द एक्सप्लेनेशन क्लास दिस इज योर प्रैक्टिकल क्लास ओके सो इन दिस क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दीज टेन टॉपिक्स ओके दीज आर द टेन टॉपिक्स विच वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग एंड let's get started okay so first one is to change the text font okay so whenever you have to make any changes in your text okay so this one is the text which i have already written okay so if you want to make changes in your text then first of all you select the text okay and here you have to change the font or font okay so then first of all you select on that then you click here okay here you can see it is written font okay then you click on this drop down okay and then you select the uh, font whichever you like okay like i'm selecting this one okay so it has been changed here you can see all right next one is font style okay so to change the style of the font again you select the text then these are the changes okay like you can make it bold italic or underline all right so this is how it is made okay all right next one is size now what you have to do you have to change the size of the text okay so again you select the text okay and then you click on here okay here you can see this is the font size you click on the drop down and whichever size you want you can click on that like i'm selecting 14 so earlier it was 11 and now i'm clicking on the 14 size and now you can see the size has been changed okay next one is font color okay so for changing the color of the font again you will select the text okay and then you will click here here you can see this one is the font color now you again click on the drop down and you can select the color whichever you want okay so for an instant i'm selecting this blue color and you can see the color of this has been changed okay so i am all right next one is fifth is highlighting the text so how you highlight what is highlighting the text that is making this text look uh, uh, different or colorful than other okay so for this i'm just selecting one area like i'm selecting this it is still temperatures okay so that it can it can look different from the other text now how you will highlight the, this text then you will click here here you can see this is text highlight color you will select and whichever color you want okay like you want any of these color so i'm selecting this blue one and you can see the changes have been have been made okay so all right next one is formatting text using font dialog box okay so now you have to form now you have to format your text okay and how you have to do it using font dialog box okay again you will select the text then you will click on this okay so what is this this is the font dialog box okay now you can click here and you can make all the changes right here okay so here are a lot of options like here this is the sum up of all the things i have told you till now okay like you can change the font style size color anything everything okay so this is all right next one is aligning text okay so what is text alignment that is um this is again you will select the text so these are the options for the text alignment okay alignment is that by default this is in the left side of the okay so this whole text is coming on the left side if you want if you will do this it will come in the center like this if you will do this this is the right alignment it will come on the right side here you can see okay and this one is the justification okay that is justified uh, alignment okay that is it will come equal neither left side nor right side okay so i'm selecting the left one okay so next one is line spacing okay if you want space in your line then how you will make the changes okay so again 
we will select the text okay so you will select the text and then you will click here okay this is you can see it is written line and paragraph spacing so we will click here and you can select the size okay so what change will be made you can see that there uh, prior to this it was like this the space between these two lines was this much now if I select two then the size between then the space between these two lines is this much okay so this is how it is done all right next one is bulleted list and numbered list okay so for bulleted and numbered list so for this again you will select the text okay and what is bulleted this one is the bulleted okay like it will come like this okay if you want to write your th text in points then this this is very useful okay like you can write first point then second point okay and if you don't want this to be in bulleted then you can also select the number this will come number one number two like this if you want further subcategorization here you can select other one okay like first then further subcategorization of first like this okay so this is your bulleted and numbered list okay let's see our next topic which is borders and shading okay so for borders and shading again what you will do you will select the text okay for borders you will click here okay you can see a box like here then you will click on the drop down okay and then you will go on the at the end of this this is written borders and shading so you will click here here from here you will you will select the border for the text like mm, I'm select it is already been selected so I'm just selecting this one okay now you you will see that all right so no changes were made why because we had selected the none one okay so we will just select another one okay like I'm selecting this shaded one okay so now you will see the changes have been made this is the this one is the border okay so next one was shading okay so for shading what you have to do again you will select the text and then you will again go to this box like okay and then drop down and then borders and shading then this third one is just click here shading and then you will select the color okay so like if you want any you want any kind of color like I'm selecting this yellow color okay and here you will select solid 100% that is completely okay and again you will select the color from here now you will make the changes apply to text okay if you will uh, apply to paragraph then it will just come on the background the text will remain white so you have to shade the color text so we will select the text one and then the changes will be made okay so here you can see that the text has been made text has been shaded okay so let's undo this all right so last topic for uh, today is it is to apply page border okay so if you want the border in this page okay that is this is the this is your whole page okay you can see it here then if you want border in your text then how you will do it you will click on this again this one okay all right so you will click here in borders and then you will click on borders and shading and then this middle one that is page border okay click on this page border and then select this art okay so you have to select any one of these all okay like I'm selecting um, all right so let us select any one of these like this apple one okay so if you will select this then the page border will be done okay so that's all for this class this was uh, your practical class of word uh, microsoft word okay so that's all for the class thank you and have a nice day